we're going to go all the way around here. Okay. All the way around here and all the way around there and do the same on the other side. But I'm going to skip this line here and this line here because that's where the fold is going to happen. The hinge. Because we're going to fold this on top of itself to meet in the middle here. We're going to fold this on top of itself to meet here. And that then smothers the grass. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the top soil from underneath this grass and we're going to put it on top of our upside down um, sandwich. Yeah. And now we have the tree sides cut here. No, no, no. no, no. Yeah. So we don't cut this one, but we do cut. We cut lines in it across. Mm. And you make the lines the width of a shovel, of a spade. Okay, the next step then is, and this is a trick that you need to do as well, is you put it underneath and you push it in with your leg like that. All the way in. And then you hold it like that. And then, normally this is grass sod, so it wouldn't break your path, you know? But maybe we're in luck. And you just fold it over like that. And normally this here doesn't break your path and you have this lovely little hinge there, and that stops all the grass from growing out mm. as well, you know? So then we... No, it's okay. Oh. Wait, look. Yeah. Can, I, can I take it off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. take it off. That was a that nice was a one. You one. take basically all this soil here, all that soil here, and you put it on top. And that really smothers in all the weeds as well, you know? And the good thing as well is if you add the topsoil from the pathway, like we said earlier, all the nutrients will be on your bed where you want it. And also you can plant straight into the, into the bed right away. And then what you could do is you could mulch it afterwards. So you remember what we did with the no-dig bed, you can also mulch it then as well. So you get the best of all worlds, you know.